Hey everyone, welcome back to another customization. This is one I've been looking for for a while, and it's the 18 inch Jack Pacific Scarif Trooper, or Shore Trooper. Gonna have to see what the official term is. But, uh, I wanted to do a really good job on this guy. Originally I was planning on doing a squad leader, having the, just the strip across here, and a couple extra things with the, the comma, but thing is, the squad leader doesn't have the pouch here. I was toying around with the idea, but in order for me to take it off, that would require me to either build an entirely new belt for him or come up with some other means of hiding it. But that was proving to be a bit too much work for it. So I'm going to just go ahead and do the commander. I'm going to see how I can do and get this guy looking really good. Okay, so the first thing I tried to do was to unscrew everything, but unfortunately, due to the belt, I wasn't able to get all of it off. I really wanted to switch this over and make a squad leader, but instead I decided to do a, a captain instead. In order to make the captain had to get kind of a specific pattern laid out, so I taped up all the areas that needed to be kept with the tan color. Jack's Pacific figure was originally its uh, grunt, so in order to upgrade him, I had to do some paint covering up the stripe right there. The captain does have the white and black stripes there, so just need to make sure those stay put because they were perfect the way they were. Okay, once that's all taped up, he looks like Frankenstein's monster. Went ahead and took some blue spray paint, just did some quick spurts. A little bit darker than what the actual colors are, but no, it's alright. I'll get the chest piece the forearm and the shoulder bell. Okay, once that gets dry, just pull everything off and admire the work. It's a lot easier getting it off than it is putting it on. He's already looking like he got an upgrade. This was still wet. I wasn't able to go ahead and spray with the yellow, otherwise it would have pulled the paint off. Get a little impatient sometimes. Just went in with a brush and did some yellow for where the second color on the left forearm bracer is. Bring it back in, just do all the nice fine details with the dry brushing technique, just using the black enamel. Put that on. Pretty much everywhere there's a sharp edge is where the paint will stay, it's where all the natural scrapes and everything would show up. The straps on the leg armor there. And using a goof off to do a bit of weathering along the edges of the paint there. So unfortunately, there's the hairspray techniques that I'm quite fond of. It doesn't really work with this. <laughs> Put that in, just use a firm bristle toothbrush to just go in, scrape it up a bit. Right, working on the base now. Just using a mixture of white glue and water. This is just some white sand that I got from the craft store. The skeleton off to the left hand side there. I found that in one of the little mystery excavation kits from a previous video. Just put that on it. I thought it'd be cool to put a skeleton or something in it. Got uh, the ammonite shell that I painted too. Just try to get it right along the edge there on the bottom so it'll stay there. Just, just 
spray it with the glue mixture so it stays put. I wanted something a little bit better on the base so I just getting some black spray paint and just doing the edge of the base all black that helps it stand out a bit more. In hindsight maybe I should have done this before I started putting the sand and everything on but you live you learn. After that all dried, didn't realize that the wood was actually going to absorb all the water that I put on, so kind of a bow in it, throwing in some moss and some foliage around. Make it looked like he's on the shore of Scarif. But the crate there, let's say I just want something to take up space. Want to have a nice crate for him to be standing on. <laughs> have one knee up on it, but unfortunately, I'm not confident enough in my sculpting skills to mutilate a figure. So there you have it, there's my customization making a captain out of the grunt for the Scarif Trooper or Shore Trooper, whatever you want to call it. And the base, I think it turned out pretty good for my mistake of soaking in, having it get bow in there, but decided just to leave him like this. I'm not going to uh, permanently adhere him to the base right now. May do that later. See what my garrison thinks about what I've done. And I'll just throw the uh, the plants and everything on, make it look like a tropical beach. Got the little skeleton and the ammonite here. And I'll throw it in. I decide to throw some moss in the crate here so it's not completely empty. Yeah, if it was just the white sand, it would have looked like snow. So. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll do another base with my First Order Snowtrooper because I haven't done anything with him yet. Yeah, I wasn't able to do the squad leader like I was hoping, but, you know, work with what you got, and I'm pretty proud of how this turned out. Really happy with it. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, go ahead and leave a like on this video if you like how it turned out. Gotta get used to these big things. I'm, I'm gonna get a new camera. Be ambitious, work hard, make your own dreams come true. We'll see you next time.